Welcome back everyone, Racer X here, and today I'm back with my good buddies at Courtesy Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram in Tampa because I want to grab a couple of their trucks and talk a little bit about the engine from 2024 and the engine that they now have for the 2025 Rams. So obviously you have an inline twin turbo Hurricane for this year, and it is replacing the 5.7 Hemi E-Torx engine that we had for last year. Should be a really interesting comparison between the two because so many people say, if it's not a V8, I don't want it. So was it a bad move for Ram to go to the Hurricane engine in their new truck? Today we'll talk about it. If you're brand new to the channel, please hit subscribe. You can find that button right over here. And off we go. Guys, check it out. I am back in Largo, Florida at the Dream Giveaway Garage because I just wanted to give you a really quick reminder that they are getting ready to do their Cadillac V drawing and it's only two days away. This is literally your last chance to enter to win these two amazing Cadillacs, both of them in the same giveaway. Over 1,300 horsepower packed into these two amazing performance Cadillacs, 682 horsepower on this Cadillac Escalade V, 668 horsepower on this uh, CT5 V Blackwing. They are extremely luxurious on the inside. They match each other. Over $300,000 in this drawing, you get both of these plus $80,000 for the taxes. Just take a look at how beautiful this black wing is on the inside. I love the red accents inside this thing as well. Beautiful stitching on the back. And as you jump over here to the Escalade V, like I said, one of the baddest SUVs on the market. Check out those speakers in the headrest. Beautiful seats in here. A really, really nice dash. I mean, there's nothing to complain about at all. One of the loudest and most aggressive performance SUVs on the planet. What an amazing ride. Don't miss out on your chance to win two of the baddest Cadillacs ever made. This might possibly be my favorite one that they have ever done. And if you use my code RACERX, they will give you three times the entries for one price. Last chance, guys. Don't miss out. I can't wait to see who wins. And directly behind me are the two trucks that I wanted to compare for you today. This is a 2024 Ram with the 5.7 Hemi in it. And this is a 2025 Ram with the high output Hurricane engine in it. Let's take a closer look. When it comes to the 5.7 Hemi on the 2024 Rams, I mean, this is an engine that Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram, I mean, they have been doing this engine forever, very successfully in a lot of different platforms, and people have grown to just absolutely love this thing. And no, it's not the most powerful engine in the world, but it just works. 395 uh, horsepower out of this V8. You can see that e-torque system right here, 410 pound-feet of torque. But towing is really nice on this, 12,750 uh, pounds this thing will tow. And when you talk about the new kid on the block in the Hurricane Twin Turbo Inline 6, this is actually the high output variant. You don't find very many of these out here. I will go ahead and show you that right here on the hood where it says HO. And of course, this one makes way more horsepower and torque, 540 horsepower and 521 pound-feet of torque. However, this tows significantly less, just under 10,000 pounds. So it is not as capable when it comes to towing. And then of course, uh, if you get a standard Ram, so the top four uh, trims in the Ram 1500, you can get the high output Hurricane like you see here. In the lower trims, you will get the standard output Hurricane 420 horsepower, but it actually tows more, 11,500 pounds, something like that. Not quite as much as the V8 equipped car over here, but certainly it tows more even though it doesn't make as much horsepower. So that is a little bit of a weird thing uh, when you're talking about a truck. Now, one of the other gripes that a lot of people seem to have when comparing the Hurricane to the 5.7 Hemi is that the 5.7 Hemi just sounds better. I'm actually in the 5.7 Hemi now, and when I step on the gas, hear that V8 under the hood. It shakes the truck back and forth just a little bit. Like I said, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it definitely sounds good and you can tell there's a Hemi under the hood. When you jump over to the Hurricane, despite making 145 more horsepower, it just doesn't sound the same. It's just not a whole lot there. One of the other things that a lot of the Hemi guys tend to talk about is the fact that the Hurricane has no traditional dipstick. You can see right here, my oil uh, life is 100%. This is a brand new truck. And as you go over here, you can see uh, my oil level. All done with a sensor inside the engine. I think it's pretty cool, kind of high tech. I don't necessarily think this thing needs to have a dipstick. I'm not sure why people argue that, but it doesn't have one. 
Now, one of the things that I assumed would be better with the incoming Hurricane over the 5.7 Hemi is gas mileage, but come to find out, they both get right about 17 miles a gallon. So there's really not any difference when it comes to gas mileage between these two. The biggest thing is I wanna take it down the road and see how they drive. I wanna see if it's drastically different. We know this one makes way more horsepower, but can you really feel it when you drive it and is it worth it? I am now aboard the 2024 Ram with the 5.7 Hemi e torques in it, and it is a very pleasant vehicle to drive. It doesn't feel short on power. Um, it's very predictable in the way it delivers power, and it's just a joy to drive. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly powerful, like when I step on it, still has a nice amount of torque thump to it. It's actually a little bit surprising, the amount of torque that this car has. And like I said, it just really checks off all of the boxes. A lot of people are of the opinion that, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, we know all of the other factors at play when it comes to the Hemi. We know that they've discontinued the Hemi after the 2023 model year, at least in most circumstances. Um, and it's just a real bummer that they had to go away from this power plant a lot of factors, we've already talked about it, but this engine really does work. And a lot of people say, hey, look, now that they're putting the twin turbo six in there, I am never gonna buy a brand new Ram pickup truck. I just don't trust that engine. I don't like it. It's not proven uh, to be durable and that takes time. But I really do like this 5.7 Hemi. I mean, like I said, it tows more and it does some things really well. Now, if you watch my channel, you may realize I have done other videos where I have compared the Hurricane engine to a 5.7 or even a 6.4 Hemi. And yes, the power delivery is very different. I really love the Hemi and all of kind of that low end punch, all the torque you get. And in a pickup truck, uh, there's a lot to be said for that because you want that low end torque, that low end punch. And the other part of it is because this is a very proven engine, they've been doing it for so long. Um, these engines, I won't say they're bulletproof, but they're really close. I mean, these engines just work. I mean, I'm on this little straightaway here, giving it some torque, listen to that V8 Hemi, and it's going. It doesn't feel short on power. Um, it definitely checks off all the boxes, as I mentioned, if you are a truck guy. I mean, the towing in terms of the reliability and everything that the tr this truck is and everything that it does, it does it pretty darn well, which is why Ram has been so successful with this offering for so long. Now I wanna go ahead and jump in the hurricane equipped Ram and see how it compares. I am now aboard the 2025 Ram 1500 Limited. And as I mentioned before, the Limited is one of the top level trims you can get in the Ram 1500. There's only one uh, trim that is actually above this one. And the top four trims actually get this high output variant. Everything uh, below the top four trims gets the standard output Hurricane. And I've talked about it before. There is a drastic difference in performance. I realize it's 120 horsepower and somebody will say, yeah, 120 horsepower but it feels like 300 horsepower. I mean, it feels massively different in the way that it makes power. And I can tell you from having a thousand plus horsepower Mustang with twin turbos on it, when you just go from like five and a half pounds of boost to 10 pounds of boost, it feels like a completely different car in the way it makes power, the way it makes boost. And this thing having different turbos on it than the standard output Hurricane, it really does feel different. I'm ready to go drive it here in a second, but I wanna tackle the elephant in the room because as you start to get to these top four trim levels, you see a monster difference in price. For example, this truck right here, $90,735. Yes, it is very, very nice on the inside of this, has beautiful seats, lots of uh, little luxury cues inside of this. It even has a screen over in front of the passenger, which I really like. I love everything about the inside of this truck, except it's over $90,000. That is a butt ton of money. Even the RHO, which is kind of that base level trim, where you start getting the high output hurricane. Uh, I think those things base at like 70, but with any sort of equipment on them, they're 90 grand. I mean, you can see where we're going price point wise in order to get this high output hurricane. It's a lot of freaking money. And that is my biggest worry when it comes to the new uh, 2025 Charger six pack, uh, which will come out next year. I've been very excited about that car. I think it's gonna be very capable, very fun to drive because I've had an opportunity to drive so many of these hurricane engines now. I feel like it's just gonna be really cool and a lot of fun. I'm not excited about the EV, but the six pack I can get on board with. But if pricing is any indication, if this $90,000 truck is any indication as to what that car will cost, 
um, it could be $75,000, $80,000 to get your hands on a nicely equipped uh, six-pack car. And I think that is going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people. I think anything over about sixty-five grand, maybe less than that, a heck of a lot of people are going to go, you know what, I had interest, but I don't have any interest anymore. It is way out of my price range, and that is just not workable. And that is my biggest fear. Like I said, I want that car to be a success, but if it's too high in price, once again, I think it's going to flop, and I think that's going to be a huge problem. So let's take this thing down the road. It is a little bit funny to think about considering this has 145 more horsepower than the 5.7 Hemi, despite the fact that it is basically half the displacement. Once again, you strap a couple of turbos to something, it really does come alive. Like here's a little bitty gap in traffic. I hit the gas and holy crap, it is significant. It, it is significant. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It literally makes that 5.7 Hemi truck feel really slow. And it didn't feel slow when I was driving it at first because like I said, if you get used to a certain power level, um, you get comfortable with it and it just seems normal until you hop in something like this and you realize just how much faster this high output Hurricane is over the 5.7. And I'm a performance guy, some guy's breaking right in front of me, but I'm a performance guy and you know, like I said, I mean, I can really, really feel a difference from the seat of my pants when I drive this. Even the standard output Hurricane, when you drive it and compare it to the 5.7 Hemi, it does feel significantly faster. Uh, this one feels like night and day. It feels like it wants to break the tires loose. Um, Performance wise, it, it just isn't close. I know that just rubs a lot of people the wrong way. They're like, nope, V8 for life. And I, I still get that argument because it doesn't sound as good. But when you talk about just raw performance, no, it doesn't tow as much. So maybe it doesn't do truck things um, quite as well, or maybe it just doesn't do them better. But when you talk about just driving the thing around, which is what you're going to do, like 95% of the time, you're literally just going to be driving the truck around. Um, I would argue that this is a much more fun truck to drive. So here's the thing. I've heard all the comments in the comments section about, oh, if you have anything positive to say about the Hurricane, you're just a simp for Dodge. How much are they paying you? All this kind of stuff. This is literally coming from people that have never driven a Hurricane engine before. And I can tell you that because if they had driven a Hurricane engine, they literally wouldn't say that. And I've been telling people that for a while. You know, People just kind of talk out of their rear end sometimes. They haven't driven it, they haven't experienced it, but they're very close-minded and they can't accept new things. I understand that's human nature. I kind of get it to a degree. And I still love a V8, so don't get me wrong, but you can't deny the performance of the Hurricane engine. I mean, it is just a very capable engine when it comes to seat of the pants driving feel. And if you've never driven one, I would encourage you, just go out and drive it. And you'll see that I'm not lying to you. I'm, you know, nobody's paying me to make this video. I'm just giving you my open, honest thoughts about the two power plants. And I still love a Hellcat engine. Obviously, I have a Demon 170. thing is an absolute monster. I love the TRX. I love everything about it. But when it comes to just the way that this engine pulls, it's very similar to a TRX. I would argue, and not the torque thump, maybe not quite there with a the TRX, but the way the in you know the engine actually pulls, like once you're actually at speed, it is right there with the TRX, maybe even a little more, despite it being a little bit down on horsepower. That is literally just the difference between twin turbos and superchargers. And if you guys have owned both, you guys know that I have, um, you can speak to that. All right, well, I've got another little straightaway right here. Let's just kind of lean into it a little bit. Nice and firm. Here come the turbos. Here comes all the power. And we are gone. It's, uh, I'm not even going to tell you what we're going right now, but the way that it stacks mile an hour, like I said, it is a completely different driving experience than the 5.7 Hemi. So if you're looking for towing and you're looking for just that old reliable, the 5.7 Hemi still absolutely gets the job done. Now it remains to be seen, as I've mentioned, you know, just how reliable will this Hurricane uh, you know, twin turbo be? And we don't know that. It takes years and years to kind of figure that out. And a lot of people have argued that, hey, look, you know, th there's no way that an internal combustion you know, engine making that sort of boost can be reliable long term. But I mean, look at what diesels do. I mean, I know they're a little bit of a different animal, but there, there's just no validity to that statement to me, especially when you look at the way the hurricane is made, you look at the internals on this and you start to realize, I mean, this thing absolutely is made for high boost. And you can see it with the way the crank is. I mean, everything about this, it's made for high boost. That's literally what it's meant to do. So I can't say either way, whether it will or will not be reliable. All I know is how it performs when I drive it 
and it's very enjoyable to drive. And like I said, from a performance perspective, it is not close. I know <laughs> you guys don't want to hear it sometimes. And you V8 purists, there's nothing wrong with your V8s, guys. And this doesn't sound as good. But when it comes to just the truck being fast and fun to drive, what can you say? Even one of the sales guys here at my local dealership, I just took him for a ride in the truck. And this is the only high output Ram uh, that they have so far. I mean, these are just starting to hit a lot of the dealerships right now. Uh, maybe in your area, they've hit a little sooner. I haven't seen any other ones other than this one that's come in. But he was absolutely floored. His comment was, wow, this thing, it feels insane. It's even faster than a scat pack. And um, well, <laughs> like I said, guys, my only thought is just, if you haven't driven one, just go drive it. Um, like I said, I mean, I'm a performance guy. Um, I still respect the 6.4, love it, still love me a 5.7 Hemi. There's nothing wrong with those engines. I really wish they put uh, the 6.4 in just the regular 1500 and not the power wagon and all that kind of stuff. But um, you literally, if you go drive this thing, you'll see what I'm talking about, experience it for yourself, and then come back to me and make an educated comment about the Hurricane engine. And there you go, guys. That is my assessment of the 5.7 Hemi versus the new Hurricane engine they're putting in the Ram. Definitely a more capable engine when it comes to speed, but that's not necessarily everything. As I mentioned before, uh, the 5.7 Hemi still does a lot of things really well. And when it comes to reliability, a lot remains to be seen with this new Hurricane. So I'll let you guys be the judge. I really like the Hurricane, but I know not everybody does. There are pros and cons to both. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.